from newsroom last minute gang law changes ban insignia in homes and widen police search powers what the fuck a late addition to proposed gang laws will give police broad powers to search people's homes in the name of stopping repeat offenders living under the same roof as gang patches or gang insignia the amendment while which technically regulates speech or expression in a person's private residence was added to the bill after the select committee process meaning there hasn't been the opportunity for experts interested parties and the public to scrutinize the changes wow. but government ministers responsible for the new gang legislation say they are confident they've struck the right balance with the new clause acting as harsher punishments and a deterrent for a small number of repeat offenders. Now, I've got two other parts of this article I'm going to read you, but let me just say this one thing very, very clearly. The reason we have protections, like free speech protections, it's not for good speech. It's for offensive and bad speech, right? More often than not, the reason you have protections uh, under and human rights is not because all the nice, good, well-behaved people need them. It's for actually the opposite of that. So you can't sit here and go, well, it's only the gang members. If this government is able to reach into someone's house and say, if you own X in your house, behind your bedroom door, and may never leave your bedroom, then we're possibly going to criminalize you for that. That is an authoritarian government and a huge concern to just the, the, the laws within New Zealand. And remember, this government, this part of politics going on and on and on and on and on about things like control, mandates, nanny state. This is Orwellian, Chewy. So you open up your garage, pull the car out, take the kids out, go and get some groceries or something like that. You've got a mongrel mob mural painted on a on a wall in your garage. Local policeman sees it, uses it as an opportunity to raid your entire house. Yeah, is that what we're talking about? Well, let's uh, rather than even me and you talking about, it, let's just keep going in the article because mm. the New Zealand Law Society speaks to it. But the New Zealand Law Society has laid out a raft of concerns with the eleventh hour amendment in an open letter to Goldsmith. The open letter sent by society's vice president david campbell said the proposed law essentially set a new precedent for uh, giving police regular access to people's homes uh, distorted uh, distorted the reason for police to search people's homes and wasn't relevant to the primary purpose of the government's ga uh, public gang patch ban remember the whole time it's been about we don't want to see this in public. We don't want to see this in public. We're not going to allow, the, allow these guys to you know, get together in public. This has got nothing to do with those laws. The society sent the letter to Goldsmith almost three weeks ago, but has yet to receive a response. In the meantime, the clock is ticking as the government moves forward with passing the two bills into law. The gang bills, which would make a series of changes to police powers, has or have been controversial. They include banning gang insignia in public and now in the home, allowing police to issue dispersal notices, creating laws to stop gang associates from gathering, and making gang membership an aggravating factor at sentencing. Critics, including lawyers and community organizations, as well as official advice, that line again, have argued there is no evidence this will deter people from joining gangs or committing offences, and others are critical of the likely breaches of human rights. However, the Law Society's letter hinges on this specific amendment, which make it illegal for repeat offenders to live in the same place as gang insignia. So we've got to be careful, Chewy, when you say someone has a, a mongrel mob, you know, mural on their in their thing. It's a, it is about repeat offenders. Not not saying that makes it okay, but it's not going to be everybody. And seeing we're here, um, I'll we'll, we'll just get the last part of this. Um, gosh, I highlighted a lot, didn't I? Under section eight two C, anyone who has been convicted of displaying gang insignia in public two or more times in the last five years would be subject to what the government calls 
mandatory gang insignia prohibition order for repeat offenders. The order includes a condition that there could uh, not be insignia present at the person's usual place of residence. It will be up to the police as to how they interpret and oper operationalize the new clause and whether it could potentially extend to insignia owned by someone else living at the same private residence, such as a flat or transitional housing. On August 8th, uh, Campbell wrote to Goldsmith to raise concerns about the, ins uh, the significant extension of police powers into people's homes, stating that this went beyond the intention of the public patch ban. He said the amendment was inconsistent with the Bill of Rights and was introduced through an improper process. He urged Goldsmith and Police Minister Mark Mitchell to halt the passing of the bill so Crown Law could conduct a proper human rights vet of the proposed legislation. The amendment unjustifiably infringes rights protected by the New Zealand Bill of Rights Act 1990, Bill of Rights, has no rational connection to the proposal of the bill and its proposed gang insignia ban and will likely cause harm to the families and Fano, including children, of those subject to a gang insignia prohibition order, the letter said. Campbell acknowledged there may be a public policy consideration for regulating speech or expressions such as gang insignia in public spaces, but the regulation in a private residence was significant, uh, and in this case, not rationally connected to the stated purpose of the gang insignia ban. The explanatory note uh, to the bill said gang insignia displayed in public may cause some people to feel fearful or intimidated. The display of gang insignia as a status symbol may also assist gangs in marketing themselves to potential prospects and future recruits. A gang uh, recruit, sorry, a gang members as gang members are readily identifiable by their insignia. The display of insignia may extrable extrable bait, exacerbate, exacerbate, exacerbate. This kicking in there. It may exacerbate. <coughs> may exacerbate inter-gang uh, rivalries that led to gang violence in public spaces. Campbell said this was unrelated to the existence of gang insignia within a residential home. The residential ban could extend to insignia never intended to be displayed in public, he said, such as a gang member having their father or grandfather's patch as a memento, taken literally the new clause could be taken to include printed reproductions of gang insignia, making it a criminal offence to possess a newspaper with a gang symbol in it or certain books. Mm -hmm.